Anytime I have seen uh, any of my doctors, they would always tell me, you know, you need to lose weight. You need to lose weight. It's for the better. And by the time I was 19 years old, I was over 605 pounds. Me, my mother, and my grandmother, she, she lives in New York, she came down to visit. So we were sitting and eating, we finished eating, we go to leave, and all my mom and grandmother saw were this couple just staring me down. I don't, like, I don't really notice people looking at me, but when, you know, two other people notice people staring me down and bring it to my attention, then there's a problem, there's something that needs to be done and be fixed. I met Dr. Domkowski at Stewart Bariatric. Justin is a, a very pleasant uh, young man who came to see me uh, when he was about 19. He was having trouble with the activities of daily living. He wasn't able to hold down a job simply because he had mobility issues. He knew he had to address this disease in a very proactive way. He prepared for it very well. He lost weight preoperatively for a couple weeks on a liquid diet. He was very serious and organized about it. It really wasn't a bad process. It was it was very simple and easy. And you know, you see the nutritionist, you see the therapist. The staff at Steward Bariatric are amazing. They're very kind. You know, they care about you. They want to see the best for you. And when they see results come in, they are the staff are just like flabbergasted sometimes. And Justin did remarkably well. He had a long journey. It took him over three years, but he was able to lose over 300 pounds. He then underwent uh, skin reduction surgery and completely transformed his life. It's just uh, so exciting to see this young man. He's kind of had a rebirth in his life. He has a job now. He's physically active and it's completely transformed him. It's, it's been a real privilege to be part of that journey with him. So before the surgery, I weighed 615 pounds. I'm now down to 254 pounds. Everything has changed, you know, the way people see me. Life is great. I actually have a lap. <laughs> I don't have apnea. I can sl uh, sleep at night, you know, without having to wake up every two or three hours thinking that it was normal. It's been an incredible journey. Uh, I'm happy to be where I'm at now and I can't wait to be where I want to be.